Hey, Redcon Raider here. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. With special thanks to a nerd in war paint, Antonio Hernandez, Matthew Holmquist, Nathan Welch Jr., and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Wasteland 3, as we continue our Siege on Aspen. Things have been a bit rough around the edges so far, but I think we're doing okay. But we do still have a fair amount of fighting ahead of us, so uh, it could still go south. That said, we are currently sitting poised to enter an old Hundred Families bunker. But before we go ahead and do that, let's burn off some points. First up, we're going to go ahead and bump Longway's Intelligence. He's getting pretty close to maxing out some of his skills. In fact, uh, all we need at this point is a skill book for nerd stuff. But um, for now, we're going to go ahead and bump his Mechanics and Small Arms, get those a little closer to maxing out. Though we uh, do need to start bumping his Armor Modding at some point. Then he's also got a perk point to play with, so let's go ahead and drop that into, let's say, Structural Weakness. That grants a modest damage boost against mechanical targets. Aside from that, I think the only other thing we're going to do is some fine-tuning on Scotchmo. Unfortunately, um, I have done some more off-screen testing, and yeah, there's about a 1 in 3 chance that he'll end up locking up whenever we try to use that shock mace. So we're going to go ahead and grab Devastation and see if we can retool him to focus on ranged attacks, at least for the time being. Now that should um, definitely help keep him viable for a little while longer, but um, I think it's pretty safe to say he's on his way out. I like the dude, but even with ranged weapons, he still tends to occasionally lock up for no apparent reason, so um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, just a matter of time until we find someone to replace him with. Honestly, I'd probably swap him out right now if we had easy access to our uh, other recruits. But you work with what you got. All right, let's go ahead and crack open this bunker. Yeah, looks like we've got mid-tier robots. I think we can handle that. Back in the uh, alpha, it was actually slicer dicers. Robots. Are they guarding something? Yeah, yeah, the um, Hundred Families Armory that we've been talking about. Try to keep up, Miss Wesson. Now, obviously, our best bet here is to grab control of that shot dog as early as possible. Oh, shoot. Dang it, doll. I didn't even notice her running ahead of everyone. Well, Scotchmo, um, good luck. Oh, Lucia was up there too. Serves her right. Oh, 
Um, you know, all things considered, this actually isn't too bad. It is a shame we lost Lucia, though. She's our best short-range fighter. Okay, I am fairly certain I have healed people diagonally before. But maybe we can't do it around corners or while adjacent to an enemy. I don't know. Let's go ahead and clear some space. Rally. We'll take that. I think we need to get bonkers into the spot where Dahl is standing. So let's go ahead and have her fall back. as good as new. Thank you kindly. All right, so far so good. Let's see if we can keep their attention on Scotchmo if we can. I don't think this game actually includes an aggro mechanic, though. Hmm, that's actually not bad. And I suppose we can give the Spitfire a whirl. Yeah, that's about what I thought. These things are all resistant to fire. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Huh. I think Scotch Bow's down. And Bonkers is definitely down. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's just prone to freezing up for some reason. It prevents him from taking actions properly and uh, really plays havoc with his animations. Let's wrap this up. We can do it. Hey, congratulations, doll. That might actually give her enough skill points for that safe we passed earlier.
Yeah, that was uh, three clicks to get Scotch Modifier one shot. Not great. <sighs> Started with nothing. Rangers, what's in here? Overheard the guards saying they lost contact with the squad at the bunker. You secured the weapons cache? Affirmative. What's your status? As good as can be expected. Worried about the other rangers up here, though. Gear up and move out as soon as you can. Here in foot traffic. Uh, I think they're waiting for you at the gondola. Shit. I have to go. The guards are making their rounds. Woodson out. Okay. Let's do some quick damage control and, uh... Then we'll see what all this got us. I'm assuming it'll be like two nail boxes and a makeshift club. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm always falling over. Let's have a look. Assorted junk. <laughs> and then we've got these four breathers. Identical models, each laid out at a different 90 degree angle. Hardy Henry. Why even sweat the medical drama if you come back from every trauma? Plus 10% healing bonus. Okay. I mean, it's not the uh, most exciting find, but we'll certainly take it. Let's go ahead and crack open these lockers. Cold Comfort. The freezing chamber processes normal shells into squared off ice cubes that slam their target with cold death. Tier 6 Cryo Shotgun. Interesting. We might actually have a use for that. Death Lance. Tier 6 Sniper Rifle. Nice. Though, I do see that that is a 50 cal, and we do not have a lot of that stockpiled. Saw Sword. We're definitely not using that. And Nidhog. Tier 7 Explosive Heavy Machine Gun. Wow. Designed to punch holes in armor plates and customized to handle explosive ammunition. Yeah, that is some pretty serious damage. Though, again, that AP cost is set high enough for just one burst a turn. And this thing uses 50 cal ammo, which uh, we do not have in high supply. I don't think we can actually afford to use this weapon. Not yet, anyway. Let's have a quick look at this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to have to hold off on the Nidhog for now. Um, we would have to bump our big gun score and stockpile 50 cal first. Right, we actually only have 85 shots for it right now. Which I think is honestly put to better use in that new sniper rifle. Speaking of which, let's go see how this thing measures up with our current sniper rifle. Huh. 
you know, I really, <laughs> I really expected there to be a more dramatic difference between a 30-06 and a 50 cal. But that is a slight upgrade, so yeah, I guess we will use it. I'm going to be honest, though, uh, this thing's pretty much just a placeholder until we grab that black star off Opie. Which I suppose just leaves the cold comfort. We could toss that to Lucia. But I think what we're actually going to do with that is swap it onto Scotch Mo. That army revolver is pretty outdated. It is a bit redundant to have two shotguns on one guy, but... This will give him a bit more tactical versatility. You know, assuming he uh, gets over that whole rigor mortis thing. Ah, Scotchmo, what are we going to do with you? Omega Pro Automated Defense System, version 2.1.35. Status, System Offline. Oh, right, okay, so I bet that's how we uh, could have theoretically disabled the robots without having to fight them. Though then the question becomes, uh, would we have actually gotten experience points for defeating them? Based on uh, everything I've seen in this game so far, I am going to assume no. Oh, and another level 9 save. I guess we will have to come back for that. We've also got a side entrance, though we'll have to hit that crane to actually open it. A bit of a moot point now, but might as well be thorough. Actually, you know what? Doll just gained a level. She might be able to boost her lockpicking skill now. Ah, of course. Even if we bump her intelligence, she'll still be one point short. Well, we'll go ahead and bump her intelligence anyway, just for the crit boost. And then I guess we'll have to save up another 2,000 experience points. On the bright side, uh, once we get that one last skill point, we will actually be able to max out her lockpicking skill with the skill book we picked up back at Ranger HQ. Anyway, let's go ahead and move that crate. I suppose its main purpose was to uh, give us easy access to that console. But we might still have something hidden under there. And uh, I am not going to turn down potential skill XP. Nope, looks pretty clear. Ah, but we do have stuff over here. As for this, yeah, this was just a side entrance into the bunker. Ooh, plasma grenade. I'm not seeing any weird skill requirements either, so that might just be our replacement for those frag grenades that we barely use anymore. Ultramorphine. More than a painkiller, UM actually kills pain. One dose can make a soldier unstoppable. Until the effects wear off. Hmm. Right, we actually saw some of this back in Dr. Coldcut's inventory at the bazaar. High-end healing with a pretty nasty side effect. You know, honestly, I don't think this item is actually worth using. I might just sell it. 
Um, the way the combat is balanced out in Wasteland 3, even a basic healing item will max most of your guys out in the hands of a moderately competent medic. I mean, I could see um, Ultra Morphine being potentially useful if there was no first aid requirement attached to it, because then you could use it as high-end emergency healing on a non-medic character until the medic can get to them. But if you have to sink four points into first aid anyway, you might as well just stick with a basic med pack. Oh, sounds like we've got another fight ahead. And it is Federico. The breather lieutenant we heard on the radio when we were passing through the construction site. Oh boy, they might actually have us outgunned here. Okay, um, I'll tell you what. I need to do a reset real quick anyway to fix Scotchmo, so um, let's hit the pause button and I'll take care of some last minute fine tuning. We'll be right back. And we are back. Reset Scotchmo, made lunch, uh, made a few minor tweaks to our gear, most notably equipping the tank armor that I kept forgetting to put on Rat. And I think we're just about ready to do this. But first, one quick change here. We've got a few spare points on Bonkers, so let's go ahead and bump his automatic skill. And then we will grab the Stormer perk, which will allow him to uh, maintain some degree of offense, even when he's racing around saving all our lives. That also puts us within spitting distance of the Capstone ability for automatics, which grants bonus AP every time he gets a kill. As for these guys... I'm going to be honest here, um, I really don't want to coddle them. I mean, we could negotiate, we could try to secure safe passage to victory, which requires persuasion and partaking in their murder gas. But honestly, uh, while there is an argument to be made that they're not fully responsible for their own actions, that they're under the influence of an experimental drug and a lunatic, I feel like that excuse only gets you so far and mass torture and murder might be one of those too far <laughs> scenarios. Especially when you're running around in heavy armor with flamethrowers and poison gas launchers. So, I think we're going to take them down, but um, if they actively try to surrender to us at some point, then perhaps we will stop shooting them in the face. Let's do this. Oh, right. And uh, I am going to avoid talking over this music. Oh, beautiful. More spacious skies. More amber waves of grain. More purple. Majesty above the fruited plain, America. Yes, America. God shed his grace. With brotherhood from sea to shine, sea. Who more than self 
their country love. Off to a good start here. Nope. I'm done for. <laughs> I spoke one second too soon. Medic. Bonkers should have gotten a free attack there. More heroes proved. In liberating strife. Who more than self? Their country loved. I think we're just about done here, though, um, sorry, Wolf, though, uh, Scotchmo is obviously having problems again.
or spacious skies, or amber waves of rain. Or purple mountain majesty above the fluted plain, America, America, God shed His grace. Crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Yep, we're pretty much done. Just uh, mopping up here. That was awesome! Ah, you killed all my breathers! Oh well, see you soon! <sighs> Yep, we will be seeing you soon. And now that the singing is done, I can actually start talking again. Overall, a reasonably tough fight. Lots of DOTs, which is really dangerous for the animals. Unfortunately, they will eagerly charge through flame patches and gas clouds. But, despite their best efforts, we appear to have kept them alive once more. Anyone else? Alright, let's patch up our rangers and pick over some corpses. see what we've got here. Gondola building key. The writing on this key is almost worn out, but you can still make out the word gondola, which based on my pre-launch research would be the Silver Queen gondola.
Also, we got no guns off those guys. That is a little disappointing. There's the far side of that obstacle course. Cryo cutter, cool. I would actually use that if Scotchmo wasn't freezing up in every single fight. Okay, I think we can tackle this in reverse. In theory, that should let us get the loot while avoiding most of the obnoxious obstacles. Oh, or maybe not. We do not have a high enough explosive score for that door. Well, I mean, we could just boost our explosives, but that would eat up all of our banked points. And I was really hoping to save those so we could max out our lockpicking. Yeah, you know what? We can always just enter the obstacle course from the other side. We'll save the gondola building for last. Bathroom. Unsanitary. Oh, another level 9 save. So, one more reason to continue banking points. Noted. Cool, a makeshift club. What do we still need at this point? We need a new flamethrower for Rhett, a better submachine gun for Bonkers, a handgun for Longway? I think that might be it. Oh, a better rocket launcher for Dahl. The one we've got right now barely scratches the enemies we're running into. Look at that. We actually missed a container back here. Sure, hope I'm seeing things again. You and me both, Scotchmo. Um, actually... Vic is usually taunting us by now. I think he might have actually stopped watching us once we took out his breathers. Dangling bodies have been hung over the fireplace with care. This is pretty straightforward. We just need to use the... Switches to shut off the fire, and the toggle to open the door. Hmm. 
Now, how do we... Oh, right. Right. Let us carefully move the rest of our squad through. Otherwise, they're going to uh, charge right through that fire. That's actually a big part of the reason why I avoided the obstacle course on our way in. We have so many pets at this point that it's difficult to keep them from just running into random environmental hazards. Looking good there, Scotchmo. If you're going to eat the rich, make sure they're properly cooked. Just need to... Oh, <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Did we just lose someone? Let's do a quick head count here. No, everyone seems to be accounted for. Really? Come on. For goodness sake. Um, okay, someone without a pet needs to go in. Bonkers. Yep, one second, buddy. Okay. Okay. Now, we can deal with this. Uh, oh God. Is... Is someone there? Please, if someone is there, help me. Help me die. I, I, I've been here for... I think the sun set three times. Well, I think we know where this is going, but let's have a look. A large gash runs from his belly button to his rib cage, most likely from the spinning blades nearby. If there was ever any hope to save his life, it evaporated once the gangrene took hold. Lovely. Well, I still question why we can't just shoot this guy, but there's obviously no point in hucking him into some now deactivated blades. I guess we will <laughs> just do this the most horrific way possible. Uh, th thank you. In a few moments, his head slumped slightly. Bonkers is really bad at choking people. The Tao of Ginsu. Way to take the somber note out of that moment. All right. Quick spot check on health here. I think we're okay. Moving on. Like a cob salad made of people. Run with the big dogs. 
Okay, I mean, those aren't dogs, but that's fine. You're going to get it either way. Gotta say, um, it feels weird doing this without Vic constantly yammering in my ear. Though I will say, I do not miss it. A little bit of that guy goes a long way. Ah, the old exploding grave trick. Classic. Oh, nice. I believe that is some top-tier medium armor. Can't use that chest plate just yet, but we can make use of those leggings. Dolls mostly stationary, so I guess we'll toss that to Lucia. Gonna try not to think about that one too much. Cleo, beauty but no guile. Oh, I think that was, um, I believe that was one of the Patriarch's three wives. Interesting. Death Sifter, Tier 6 Heavy Machine Gun. The uh, Nidhogg is obviously better. Peak always plays fair, and Poke wins by any means necessary. Hmm. I wonder if that is somehow relevant to our current situation. These billboards are usually a direct reference to something. I'm just not sure what it is this time. The obstacle course? Victory? Maybe the Patriarch's dead wife? Hmm. Hey, you didn't die. Let's pop over there real quick and uh, make sure we get credit for those kills. Question that. We did it. Well, we uh, didn't get off a shot, but I believe we still got credit for that. Just eleven hundred short on Doll. It's tough to tell exactly how many hundred families' victims the bears ate, but they didn't go hungry. Neat. It's just a shame we don't actually have any open pet slots at the moment. I believe that is the only recruitable bear in the entire game. That said, I think it's probably fair to assume that I will eventually be giving animal companions to everyone. I have just managed to momentarily restrain myself until we've uh, maxed out a few of our more relevant skills. <laughs> Bonkers. Oh, 
Also, in retrospect, I feel like this obstacle course might have been backwards. I mean, I know it's a little silly to question whether or not Vic thought this through, but if the whole purpose of the obstacle course was to force prisoners to run it if they wanted to escape, then why would you put the exit on the inside? Anyway, we are uh, pretty much out of time here. Let's go ahead and crack this last door and... I think we'll be at a pretty good stopping point. Yep, despite our best efforts, we survived the approach. Hold tight, Corporal. We're coming. Roger that. But please hurry. Things are getting worse up here. Vic is throwing a tantrum and taking out his frustration on my squad and the civilian hostages. I don't know what he's doing to them, but judging by the screams, it can't be good. We need you up here double time. The guards are making their rounds. See you soon. Listen out. Hmm. Well, that's no good. Let's go ahead and grab this loot real quick, and we will worry about that next time. Ooh, some top-tier helmets. Very nice. Snacks. Wasteland Hawk. Tier 6 semi-auto. Ceramo silk patches. Defense at the cost of accuracy. And even more top tier armor. Hmm. Plus 20% healing bonus. Can't say that's terribly impressive. Wow, there is almost no change between Tier 5 and Tier 6. That thing is almost identical, aside from the ammo count and the penetration. Oh, looks good, though. Let's see. Huh. We actually don't have any room for any new helmets. I hate giving up those skill bonuses, but it might be time to at least consider retiring the Ranger General's hat. We'd have to shore up Lucia's stats a bit, though. I'll have to give that some thought. Bulky. All right, folks. I think we have uh, made some decent progress today. We finished clearing out the first area, took out the breathers, and um, found some halfway decent loot, though not as much as I might have liked. 
let's go ahead and hit the pause button here. I am going to double back to Opie's and sell off some of the random garbage we picked up. And maybe grab that Black Star while I'm there. I was hoping we'd find one, but we just haven't been that lucky. And we will uh, pick up here next time as we continue pursuing victory. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Wasteland 3, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official social media feeds, or the official store pages. As always, links are in the description. See you soon!